So, I read Fifty Shades of Grey, and I liked it. I'm just going to get that out there. So, you guys haven't seen me in a while. I forgot to do my last Interabang vlog. It was um in the midst of midterms, and I didn't realize till the next day that I forgot it, so it was a little too late. So, today I thought I'd talk about book hype. There's so many books that hype surrounds it, and... I find that more often than not, I definitely, I, I don't like, um, books with a lot of hype generally. They just, they never live up to my expectations. Um, me being the person I am, I heard all the hype about Fifty Shades of Grey, and I was like, well, I need to read it and see what it's all about. And while there definitely, it wasn't great writing, it wasn't, I mean, there was awkward I read the whole trilogy and there was really awkward like time jumps like you would be like it'd be like that night and then all of a sudden she'd be having a flashback or it'd be that night and then like the next sentence you'd be the next day just like a lot of stuff like that and like it was really awkward pacing at times too and the writing don't even get me started on that but the plot it was just so good so yeah I guess I liked it and I know some people are going to think I'm crazy for it, but I thought it was good, and, like, just, it got me thinking a lot, because, generally speaking, books with, like, hype like that, I just, I don't like. Like, I was looking back over some of the books that I've read recently, within, within the past probably, like, six-ish months, some I thought of are, like, from the, like, 2011 and on, but, like, recently, I read both Tempest and... Tempest by Julie Cross and Cinder by Marissa Meyer. They were both um, January releases and they had a ton of hype around them. Both were absolutely awesome. And then you get books like Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi and Legend, which again, both had a lot of hype. And they were just, just very average books. Like, I thought both had a lot of potential for, like, sequels. I feel like that's what happens so much of the time with books that have all this hype around them. They're these series or trilogies, and this is book one, and it sets it all up for book two, but you have to sit through book one, and it's just, like, it's not that good. And then you have the books, like, well, I know a lot of people like these, but, um... I'll just name off five that I came up with. Um, Matched by Ali Cross, Imaginary Girls by Nova Rensuma, The Hunger Games, Eon by Allison Goodman, and Ashfall by Mike Mullen. The Hunger Games and Matched, I, I did, like, all right. But the other three, I didn't. Especially Ashfall and Eon. And those books were books that I had seen hyped. Like, they were so hyped, and they just... They weren't good. I, I didn't like them. Like, probably Eon and Ashfall are two of my least favorite books in the world. So, it, it all just... I've just been thinking a lot about that lately. Like, book hype and what does it mean? Like, I just... I find, generally speaking, more often than not, books that are super hyped out just don't do it for me. I don't know if it's because I have high expectations, or I don't really know. But, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about hype. Is there any books that have been really hyped out and you loved or you didn't love? Especially if you love them, you should tell me, because, like, even, like, Cinder and Tempest, which are two that I, like, really liked, like, they didn't have that big of a hype. It's, like, the books with, like, the huge hype around them. I always end up disappointed, so I want to know some good hyped-up books. But yeah, until next time.